Hey everyone, uh, today's topic is about uh, talking about case management. So most of the, the best part of PEGA is case management which was introduced from 7 uh, PEGA 7. The things you do to the case management uh, we'll be seeing in this video. Okay, but it is a vast, uh, you know, content but I'll just go with the uh, theoretical way. In between, I'll be showing you a few of them. So, most of the uh, videos which we are doing, everything comes under your case management itself. So, there is nothing specific like this is what you call as case management or that is what you call as case management. Everything which you uh, configure through the case life cycle becomes your case management mm, topic. Okay, what is the, what, what actually is case management is? See, whenever you are saying that you want certain work to be done, so it should, whenever you are saying work to be done, it should, it will have a start and it will have an end. So, in this between, between the start and end of your, uh, your, uh, your uh, business transaction, whatever it is. So, for that, whatever the things you require, those all things would be your case management uh, itself. Okay, so this case management will have the combination of human interaction and as well as certain things called as digital automations. Like for example, you want to uh, you want to ask user to enter enter value. So you will be entering it. So user will be entering. There is human interaction, and you want to send an email to the user. It is automatically done. So it's a, uh, automation. Okay, so in case management, what you discuss is you will uh, uh, you will tell what, who are the people interacting with your case, what is the data on, and what actions you are going to take, on what channel it is going to work. So, these are all things you will be talking in case management. Uh, definitely, uh, you can see this case type. This is all your case management itself. So, what does you have in case management? You can talk about stage, you can talk about process, you can talk about steps, and you can even talk about optional actions. You will talk about personas and channels. You will talk about data and interfaces. And if there are any alternate stages, you will be talking about those alternate stages also. Okay. So, these all things comes as a case management itself. Okay. So, you want to, uh, you do not want, you want to skip this, this hotel. Yes, you can skip it. You want to send an email. Yes, you want to create a new case from here. Then you'll just go to automation, more automation and add here. And sometimes you want to generate document. You want to uh, push for notification or you want to search for duplicate cases. Everything here comes under your case management itself. Okay. Yes. So, this is uh, the case management uh, PPT. So, we'll just go with that. So, what does the case management will have is, uh, as I said, right, uh, you will be automating work by creating case types. You will create a work. Uh, you will be completing work on time and you will be managing work across your teams. You will be engaging and notifying your stakeholders. You are empower knowledge workers, integrating cases with external resources. You might be designing certain questionnaires. Questionnaires also comes under your case management. Or you may go with the securing case access. Like for example, to whom you want to act, give the access and to whom you want to restrict the access. So these all things you'll be showing in your case management. Coming to the introduction to case management, what do you have is you have to talk about case type elements like process, stages, steps, and the class hierarchy where like whether you have a parent and child cases you have in it, who are the people involved in it, how do you build the case type, what are the data elements you have in it. Okay, so these all things you'll be showing in your case management. So everything like you want, someone is asking about data model. Yes, data model also comes under your case management itself. So, uh, what do you mean by automating work uh, by creating case types is like uh, whether you want to view the cases or whether you want to configure data models or whether you want to add a get next work logic, you want to add some instructions to your case or you want to add statuses for your state uh, st for your case. So, everything comes under your automation work by uh, creating case types. And completing work on time, uh, we will talk about SLS service level agreement. So, in this uh, 
how are you incrementing the urgency what is the goal and deadline you are uh, setting for your case resolution uh, whether you are uh, setting up a sla on a stage or a process or a step okay so these all things will be uh, shown up okay so on a stage whether you are creating uh, uh, you know status slas or all okay so in the process you are going to create any goal and deadline whether you want to add a custom sla or existing sla on a prop on a sla and all those things you can even add there you want to add uh, sla there and whether you want to create an sla with the initial urgency or uh, you know you want to delay your sla or you want to escalate so all these things comes under your work on time so managing a work across your team means like whether you are creating a work group work queue what are the things you want to show it on the dashboard for example you want to go to launch pad and user portal so what are the things you want to show in your dashboard now uh, you want to publish anything you want to add extra thing by selecting this pub publish uh, sorry by selecting settings icon and add any widgets into your dashboard so these all things uh, will be coming under your uh, managing work across your team okay so how do you switch from dev studio to uh, dev studio to app studio or whether you want to uh, you know uh, switch so i can say switch from one application to the other application also i have only one application here and coming to the notify you also create whether you want to create a notification what notification message you want to add so basically you will have uh, uh, um, uh, channels notification channels so this also also come, comes under your um, case management so responding to business exceptions in flow whether you want to create optional actions or not whether you want to create an ad hoc cases so this all comes under your uh, case management even external resources also it will be coming up okay so by uh, securing case access uh, to which type of access group you want to provide access to your case types uh, whether all flows should be accessed or not whether you want to have some authorization so these all things uh will be under your case management in between i'll talk about certain things called as um, mm, tags so let me go for tags so for example you are creating one case and you want to make sure that this is uh this is you know this will be uh, ready uh, uh, quickly searched by your end users or case worker portals or your case workers so you can just simply add a tag so select a tag click on this in a manage tag you can add something like or something like this here so i'll say here um things assume that i'm giving some uh, tags which is all which are the, which is available okay so which is not available so i'm just selecting payments and clicking add so where did i add this i added this in h5 so to make uh, so maybe in your portal there would be some many many number of uh, cases you may not know where which case you want to search for so for that basically you go with the tags so for example if i say payments here and search you will see matching tag is there so like payments to so select payments here okay so you can see that it is in h5 h5 rule so from the uh, so it will be easy for the case worker to search your uh, uh, cases or whenever it is whenever they are using pulse also they, these tags will be tags would be easy uh, for them to search and work on the um, recently updated cases so this is the one which is in which we had a uh, tag as payment so you can just search for that in the application uh, in the case worker portal so this is about tax okay so this is overall overall things which we talk about case management so for each of them we have to ask like for example whenever an interviewer asks about what do you know about case management definitely you need to talk about all these things so these all things are comes under as case management itself because case management make sure that your business transaction is started and also ended I and mean, it is resolved it is and with the result okay so it is a goal oriented case management is used to uh, deliver a goal oriented results by handling business cases from start to resolution okay so that is what the case management is thank you